Hello, I'm Jason. Welcome to Algebra 1. We're going to spend quite a bit of time together going through the topics of Algebra 1 that you will be expected to understand, and we're going to solve all of these uh, problems and learn all of these topics in Algebra 1 by working example problems in a step-by-step -step fashion. So you're not just going to get a bunch of lectures, you're going to understand hands-on how to solve these problems. My advice to you is to follow me uh, through the sequence in order and pause the video periodically uh, to make sure that you can understand and solve the problems yourself. So get your own pencil and paper and after I solve a problem, pause the video and solve it yourself. Make sure you understand it and then move on with me. And if you do that, then I promise you, as we move together through this, you will be very, very good at Algebra 1. You'll have a very deep understanding of it. So we're going to just jump right in here. We're going to dive in. We're going to talk about one of the most important topics in Algebra, and that is the concept of a variable. So here we have the concept of a variable. And you, you hear this uh, right away in algebra, and you're going to be expected to understand it. A variable is very simple concept. It is a letter that represents a number. I'll say that one more time. It's just a letter of the alphabet, like A, B, C, or X, Y, Z, that represents a number. It's basically a placeholder, because we don't always know in algebra what uh, what all the answers are, and so we have letters to, to kind of be placeholders for things that we don't know. So, for example, um, you might have the variable A, a very common variable. You don't know what it is initially, so we use the letter A to, to hold, to be a placeholder. But at the end of the day, A might be equal to the, to the number 1, or A might be equal to uh, the number 3, or A might be equal to 7. You get the idea. You might go on and on and on. Basically, it can be equal to any number you can dream up. Uh, and that's why we have a letter to represent it, because we don't know what the value of it, of it is. Now, later on, we'll learn how to solve equations and things like that, and so the letter A might be what you're trying to solve for, and you figure out at the end that A is equal to 1. Uh, and that's why we use these letters to, to kind of hold numbers. But for now, just know that it's just a letter that represents a number. So as another example, we might have the variable x. It's another very common variable you see in algebra all the time. x could be equal to 0, uh, x could be equal to 1, uh, x could be equal to 2, and so on. And you can see the idea here. I'm just making numbers up. They don't have to be these specific numbers. Uh, any number at all can fit inside of this variable that we're calling x. So as another example, um, you can use any letter of the alphabet. Sometimes you might use the letter b. It uh, just depends. Uh, B doesn't have to be a whole number. Any of these variables, they don't have to be whole numbers. So B might be 13.4, for instance. Or B might be equal to 19.6, for instance. You see the idea here. 